Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to make some fairy huts. A very large gazebo style hut and some smaller huts that are still gazebo style, uh, but more individual small little uh, coverings. These two variations of fairy huts were meant to be sort of a, an end or a, a high point along the adventure. Um, finding the fairies and interacting with them was going to be kind of a, a, a neat high point in this adventure. I wanted it to feel a little bit more magical and have kind of a, a neat, um, uh, more ornate feel to it than just kind of a stone hut or a wood you know, hut that they might find them in. So I wanted something more along like this. Uh, this came as an idea after looking at a uh, an LED wind chime uh, solar light thing that I had. It no longer functioned, so I tore it apart, and this is kind of the result of it. I ended up putting in some LEDs on the inside for um, lighting uh, uh, later on, but. I don't have that in the, the video. These are just hot glued in fairy lights um, into the top of this. So let's go to the table and see how this one is done. Okay, for this project, I'm starting off with a solar lantern uh, that had some wind chimes on it. The solar lights no longer worked and I decided to take it apart and see if I could salvage some of these pieces. I'm using a nipper and, and cutting off the iron pieces that hold it together as the lantern. And I really like the tracery on these upper and lower sections. So I wanted to salvage that and perhaps use that top as the dome of this project. Just taking apart all of the electronics. I didn't really need any of that to stay in for my finished product. So I just pulled all of that electronic stuff out of the way. I broke off the little clasps that would fold down and hold that top in place. Um, again, I didn't really need that as I would glue it all together at a later point. I cut off all of those joining sections which had some decorative detail. I ended up keeping some of that around. Um, I might find a purpose for it at some point, but uh, for this project, I just cut it all away. Underneath, there was also some hooks for those wind chimes, and I cut those off as well. Now I'm using some hot glue to glue on that top section. Now switching gears to some of the smaller huts, I'm using a 2-inch styrofoam ball and on the hot wire cutter, just cutting it in half. On some juice lids, I'm hot gluing those cut in half styrofoam balls. And that will form kind of the foundation of those fairy huts. I'm using some teddy bear fur and cutting in some wedges, just trying to figure out what would fit well and, and sit pretty tightly to the top of that styrofoam ball. Once I found a pattern that seemed to work pretty well, I started by gluing one of those triangles into place and then gluing another triangle, gluing another triangle, until the whole thing was covered in that teddy bear fur. Then I'm using some watered down uh, white glue, PVA glue, and just soaking that into that teddy bear fur so that it would hold up under um, use and be able to be painted. I'm using the brush to kind of fluff it up a little bit. I didn't want it to just look so flat. And then I'm using a comb to kind of comb in layers and fluff it up even further. And then kind of just shape it to the appropriate shape that I wanted in the end product. Now on a bandsaw, I'm cutting some dowels that would be used to um, join the sections of the larger fairy hut. Those dowels I'm just hot gluing into place. Okay. 
and then I realized that the other ones would need a little bit of trimming so I used a chisel and chiseled off just a little bit of it because of some um, impediments on that bottom section of the, the tracery. Then I'm using uh, a, a uh, tin snips and cutting into that tracery to form openings for where the stairway would allow you into that section. I cut out some XPS in a hexagon and then using a green stuff roller, um, using a cobblestone texture, just texturing that styrofoam so it has kind of a rock texture that'll go on the inside. I'm cutting out some discs out of XPS foam and then cutting those in half. These will be the bases for the other fairy huts and adding that cobblestone texture to these as well. Now I'm using some small thin plywood sections, craft store uh, wood pieces that I'm putting some extra trace uh, designs onto uh, for the top of that fairy hut to mask that solar panel section. I'm using some matchsticks now to make uh, the legs for the smaller fairy huts using some hot glue. And on the inside of these juice lids, there are some uh, small straight segments that I was gluing up against to make sure that I was getting a nice straight uh, seal. Then for the cobblestone sections, I'm using black paint and Mod Podge so that it has a nice hard shell. For the larger sections, I'm using black spray paint. I'm using it also on the fairy huts. Using a light gray to just texture the stonework and then a really light gray, almost white for the tracery. I'm using that also on the bottom section of that fairy hut uh, to make it look maybe like wood carved um, domes or something of that effect. And I'm using some turquoise paint and making the top of the, the fairy hut, the main uh, main hut to look sort of like a um, weathered copper look. Coming along with just a little bit of copper paint and hitting some of the edges to accent it and bring out so, uh, more of that copper look. Now I'm using a tan color on the fairy huts um, to give it a kind of an undercoat, and then I started going in with the greens. I ultimately ended up not really liking how the greens turned out. I think it would have been nicer if I would have just left it with more of a, a dry grass look instead of the green, but it is what it is and it worked for the project that I needed. I had an extra section of this hexagon that didn't quite fit before, um, so I decided to make use of it and cut out some stairway to um, lead into the base of this gazebo hut. Just cutting in those stairs. And then painting those up with the black and giving those a dry brush as well. Then I'm gluing the top of this gazebo into place just so that it wouldn't move around anymore. 
and hot gluing those stairs into place as well. I tried hot gluing the smaller fairy huts to the styrofoam, but I really didn't like how that looked. So I switched gears and decided to use white glue on the rest of them. All right, and there's the finished products. This one was a little bit more complicated in the overall build. And like I said before, I didn't really like how the green paint looks. I think I would have preferred going with more of a dry, uh, dry grass for the fairy huts, but overall it still worked and functioned the way that I needed to for the session, uh, but lessons learned as you go forward. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.